right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Bruce Lee and Alexi Olenek. Well, he's got almost as many kids as he does Ezekiel Chokes. Here is the heavyweight hopeful, Alexi Olenek. This guy's more than 40 fights over 500 in a pro career that dates all the way back to 1996. It's unbelievable when you watch Alexi Olenek compete. He goes in there and he seems as disinterested as anyone that I've right. ever seen step into an octagon. But the moment he gets his hands on you, no one's nickname is more fitting. Yeah. The boa constrictor. You feel like you're wrapped within his limbs and you cannot find an escape. Some of the submissions he has are truly unbelievable. When he hit that Ezekiel choke from the bottom, neither one of us, John, understood right. why his opponent was tapping. Yeah, and that was Victor Pesta, and then he got Junior Albini with that famed Ezekiel choke as well. Most people seem to know what's coming. They're dismissive of it. Alexi Olenek is a submission magician. He'll try to get another win here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 60 wins, 17 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexei, the boa constrictor, Alinea. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready. So the fight is now underway on one side with the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, Lena gets the tie clinch here. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going up. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, single collar tie here. 
Nice strike. Nice body kick. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. Too. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow in the clinch. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Olenek. And they separate. Olenek gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Big head kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. He lands a big knee to the body. Nice kick. All right, single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him down. Great balance, great awareness, moved the head back inside, turned that double into a single, sprawled and got away from his opponent. Great job. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, strong punch there by Olenek. One, two there by Lee. Takedown defense holds up. Came of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Big punch from the clinch. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got the tie clinch. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plunge. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but maybe to the surprise of his opponent, he has come out so aggressive here tonight, he has landed a ton of strikes here early and gotten off to a nice start. The hip toss as he takes him down, now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Olenek gets stung by that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Clean with the right hook. Able to check that kick as well. Works out for the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. When we sat down with his opponent on Thursday, he believed without a shadow of a doubt that he was going to be able to take his opponent down. That was not the case previous round. That is not the case because he understands takedown defense. When you push him against the side of the octagon, his legs are wide, he's always got it under him. And the moment you give him an escape, whether it's left, whether it's right, you make one mistake, he circles back to the center of the octagon and gives himself the best chance to stay standing.
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Single collar That's a tie perfect now. scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Great punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, level change. Nice trip to get the takedown. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Hands high, hands high. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. With he's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. Just over three minutes to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Pretty significant blow to the left side. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, clean entry as he gets the takedown there. Great entry, great timing, great finish. What a fantastic job by the shot man. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big ball for the man. Now he's back to range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, man, good stick to the body. Right there, oh, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. What a body kick. Beautiful strike. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, if you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's more blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. And they separate. Oh, then it gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, nice elbow. Some nice back and forth action here. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at him dig that body shot right up to his opponent's third. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any hell in there for what he does. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he got absolutely plunging. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Stewart. Oh, Linus lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And that left hook landed on the button. And they set timing on that beautiful oh. shake all right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes.
All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are really starts to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. That knee might have landed there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Got the single collar shy. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Kick to the body by Lee. A little single collar tie there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Triangle. triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. A triangle, a triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel. And he's out. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, less than three minutes to go now in round number three. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. And now he falls back into the finishing position. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, Linus lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out or guys start to attack triangle. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I haven't appreciated oh, Linux going for the sub here. He's gonna take off here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've touched... Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Get 
get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes. Watch his wrestling guy. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Oh, effective strike there by Olenek. Oh, single collar tie here. Wow. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Liver kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Takedown defense holds up, and they separate. Right hand on point. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Try to establish that jab. Oh, Lennox all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Real quick leg kick. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, combination lands. You wanna talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. Overwhelming him with different attacks. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice straight right lands. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling tough tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Effective punch there by Olin. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice counter shot there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Effective strike there by Lee. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully, perfect placement on that shot. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his strike, and he fought well behind the jab, but with the significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. That's a big strike right there. Head kick lands. Single collar tie. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Big knee to the body. Oh. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Right hand punch. Back and forth we go. Oh. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Lee's got.
got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Powerful leg kick land. Nice punch there by Lee. 30 seconds remain in the rest. Olenis I appears to be closing up by the second. All right, single collar tie oh, nice now. Nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. 15 seconds remain in the round. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Luke. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Do the punch. Got to the target. All right, so in entertaining five minutes, let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Nice punch there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it. He's out! It's over! It's over! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 26 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go to the after party.